What's good everybody, I'm the Coming Attraction and welcome to a 2K challenge. Today, we got a team full of 90 plus overall Los Angeles Lakers versus a team full of 50 plus overall Cleveland Cavaliers. And the Cavs may be terrible, but we went and made them 7'7 seven, seven, and 350 pounds to their team full of Giants. And vice versa, the Lakers may be all 90 plus overalls, but we made them 5'4 and 145 pounds. So basically for all you nerds out there, we're going to see if size actually matters as we have a team full of 99 overall little people going up against a team full of 60 overall giants. We're going to be playing two minute quarters on Hall of Fame difficulty and we're going to be rotating which team we play with each time so that way we'll be playing two quarters with the little team and two quarters with the big team. Now let's get into the game. Man and David Aldridge get out of here bro but oh my god look how little they are. Look at them. And oh my god, this is insane. Look at the size differential. His head is barely even in the picture. This is crazy. There's no way the Lakers win. And we're going to be starting off this game using the Cavaliers, the team full of Giants. And that's not good. An immediate turnover and steal. And oh god. A donkey gets freaky immediately. Next possession down the floor. We're moving the ball around. We can't get anything. But hey, look at this. Too little. Drummond goes up and gets an easy bucket. It's going to be size matchups all day. And geez, they're so fast. Anthony Davis puts up a shot. Nope. Misses it, and we bring down the rebound, of course. We're going down the floor. We're going to try and throw an oop. Boy. Oh, my God. That was terrible. And the little minions are going to take advantage of it. And they get another dunk by KCP. The speed and skill is just uncanny. We can't keep up. We're going to throw it down to Drummond, and he's going to get another layup. Oh, my God. That needs to be our game plan, is just throwing that ball inside. Big boy K-Love is putting the clamps on Anthony Davis out on the perimeter. He's going by him, though. He's going to put up a shot. And I think that was blocked by Kevin Love, but somehow mini Dwight Howard gets the rebound. Kevin Love gets the rebound because they're giants, so they're going to get pretty much every rebound. Going down the court, pass it inside to K-Love, and he's going to get fouled. Now, this is going to be a problem because the free throws are at zero. Yup, so I don't think it's going to be possible to make any of them. Let's see here, though, if we can get this one. Nope. Nope. And the Lakers are going to try and take advantage of it as they're going to go down the court and they're going to throw an oop of their own, but get that out of here, bro. We're a team full of giants. Come on now. And we're going down the floor again. Andre Drummond shoots a terrible shot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. And the Lakers are going to get a wide open dunk again. Oh, my God. And Garland passes the ball down to Drummond on the next possession. And look at that. They get another layup. Drummond is definitely the MVP so far of this first quarter for the big boys. LeBron's bringing on the court to wind down the first quarter. What are you doing, Garland? Oh my gosh, get, get in front of him. God, it looks like he's trying to butt rape him or something. LeBron shoots a three. No good. And that's going to bring us to the end of the first quarter where the score is going to be 6-6. Six to six. Now as we use with the little people, the biggest difference I've noticed so far is just the speed. So hopefully we can take advantage of that. LeBron goes in but gets his shot beat up by the bigger defense. Oh my goodness. And they're just going to go down. Jeez. Now we see what it's like on the other side where we can't get a shot off. And we can't defend a shot at all. But LeBron goes in. Oh, and thank goodness he gets fouled this time. Now, we should be able to make free throws with this, guys. Because their free throws are 99. So, let's see if we can get this to go with LeBron. Yeah, we got that one. Free throw number two coming up. Let's see if we can get this one. Look how little he is. The ball is literally bigger than him. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. Free throw two. And we get it to go. Next possession, the Cavs are coming down. And they can't do anything. They're just having to do extreme Spurs-type ball movement. They can't dribble. They can't really even pass but they're trying to they got two seconds on the shot clock glove puts it up clank absolute brick and Contavious Caldwell Pope brings it down Anthony Davis is gonna go in he's kicking it out let's see if we can get a good shot here Jesus there's nothing we can do they're just so big like normally I'd be able to shoot this with Anthony Davis but he's just too big even though the 99s overall LeBron can't even drive oh my goodness this is terrible come on Danny Green shoots it and of course he misses it that's all he does did you guys watch the finals? I did. Time dwindling in the second quarter. It's a tie game. Colin Sexton passes it to Darius Garland in the lane. He puts up a bad layup. He misses LeBron comes down with the rebound because he's a beast. Who cares if he's 5'4"? He drives in. Has nothing. Just gives it right back to him. They pass the ball up. Sadie Osman has the ball. He's going to pull up and shoot it. And what? He makes that? I couldn't make that. And now they're trying to cheat us because I know for a fact I would not have made that if I was using them. But I can make that with LeBron and one. Time running down here in the first half. They're passing it around. They're not even going to get a shot, it looks like. And oh my god, LeBron fouls them, and they're going to get three free throws. Oh my goodness. Good thing is, though, they have zero free throws, so they are not going to make a single one watch. Boom. Here comes free throw number two. 
clank. Heck no. Watch this, watch this, watch this. You guys ready for the third miss? Here we go. Breathing like he's going to make it or something. Clank. Heck no. We get it. Chuck it up. Not a bad shot, but misses. This is going to be tied at halftime, 10 to 10. And this interview is just ridiculous. He's asking him a question and doesn't even hold the mic to his mouth. He's literally too short for the mic. Once again, David Aldridge just being a complete idiot. <laughs> And look how wild this looks as 5-4 Contavious Caldwell Pope just gets up to absolutely bang this. Oh my goodness. And honestly, after playing a quarter with both teams, I can say the pros and cons are pretty much equal. Like, the big team is so big that they can't do anything and they suck. But the little team may be good, but they can't do anything because they're so little. Starting off the second half again, we're back with the Giants, so this should be interesting. See what these big old boys can do, and it looks like LeBron's already driving right by us. Jeez, the control of these players is just so terrible. LeBron pump fakes, nothing there though. Kicks it out to KCP, Dwight Howard has the ball, now look how little he looks. He drives in, and gets that absolutely beat up. Let's go, and the Giants are on the fast break. Passes it back and forth, great ball movement, and we get fouled. Which, like, I guess getting fouled is good, but not really because it means we're for sure not going to score because we literally can't make a free throw. I'm pretty sure it's physically impossible for us to make a free throw. Yep, and that still stands. The little boys get the ball. They're running. Pass it to LeBron for a three. Clank, in and out, misses it. And we're on the fast break again. Kevin Love keeps the ball. Look at the dime, and he makes the layup. What a play. That might be play of the game so far. And that was actually an extremely impressive play by K-Love that actually gives the Giants the lead. LeBron drives in. Gets it beat up again, but they get the rebound, and we get the steal. Ah, no, it's going to be Lakers ball, actually. Somehow that was off us. But look at this. LeBron just can't do anything. He's a little baby in there. The Lakers pass it in off the inbound. We're double-teaming him in the corner. They got nothing going. They get it out. Oh, and what a pass by Anthony Davis to a wide-open baby Dwight Howard in there. Jeez. Scores 12 to 12 now. We're bringing the ball down. Darius Garland acting like he's going to do something, even though he can't. Look at this. Oh my gosh, almost a steal. Come on, Cleveland. Just holding the ball. We tried it. We're trying to get it down low. Gets it. Another layup by Andre Drummond. He's the beast. LeBron has the ball now with 17 seconds on the shot clock. He's trying to drive in. Gets his shot beat up again off the glass. And we're off to the races. Colin Sexton actually gets a green release. Oh my goodness, I didn't think that was possible with this team. And it looks like the Giants might be starting to pull away. Oh no, what a backdoor pass. And Caldwell Pope finishes that. I Right as I said, it looks like they're starting to pull away. They bring it back to a two-point game. 20 seconds left in the quarter. Andre German gets stopped somehow by baby Dwight Howard. They're double teaming. Shetty Osman has the ball, passes it into Kate Love. And he misses a wide open layup. 10 seconds left in the quarter. Lakers bringing down the ball. Wide open three for Contavious Caldwell Pope, and he hits it. Oh my goodness, what a swing of events. The little people go on a 5-0 run at the end of the quarter, but the Giants come right back down and score. Scores 18-7 with two seconds left in the third quarter. LeBron shoots it. No good. And going into the fourth quarter, the Giants hold a one-point lead, 18-17. It's going to be really interesting to see how this last quarter of play plays out. Cleveland ball to start the fourth, but we're controlling the Lakers once again to end this game. It's going to be really crazy to see how this one ends. Darius Garland passes it to Osmond on the wing. Looks like they have a nice post up down there. Huge size advantage once again. Look how little Danny Green looks compared to Colin Sexton. I mean, that is just unbelievable. Cheap reach and foul by Anthony Davis. Eight seconds now on the shot clock for the Cavaliers. Colin Sexton drives in, and he gets another layup. He's probably been the most impressive player for Cleveland, making some crazy plays. The Giants have a three-point lead. LeBron's driving in the lane. Passes to Anthony Davis, but he's just too freaking little to do anything. LeBron shoots a weird mid-range shot. That's off. Looks like the Giants could be able to take a lead here, but Danny Green actually comes up with a big play for one time in his life. Gets a steal. Anthony Davis goes in, and he gets fouled. He's going to the free throw line. Davis shooting. Makes the first. And makes the second. It's a one-point game. Cleveland now. brings the ball down the floor. And Danny Green gets another steal, and he's going to pass it ahead to Dwight Howard, and boom, he gets a dunk, and that's going to give the Lakers the lead. And the Cavs miss two free throws, and what a change of events this has been. What a dime by Danny Green, and another dunk by Anthony Davis, and this is a three-point game now, with less than a minute to go. Cleveland bringing the ball down the floor, and they take a timeout. What a crazy game. After the Cleveland timeout, they come down, but only have five seconds on the shot clock, and somehow Colin Sexton throws up a crazy layup, and it goes in. 
23 seconds left and Cleveland's going to have to start playing the fouling game. LeBron gets the ball and that's exactly what they do. They foul him. And usually I wouldn't be very confident in LeBron's free throws, but since everything's 99 overall, I'll trust him to make these two. Makes the first one and makes the second one. The next possession, Cleveland needs to score, but they just come down and turn the ball over. And that's pretty much going to be the game. After some more free throws, the Lakers end up going up by 7 and win this game 22-29. to I guess it's true, size really doesn't matter. And one more time, another ridiculous interview held by David Aldridge where he doesn't even hold the mic up to LeBron's mouth because he's too short. And guys, that is going to be the end of this video where I guess the myth was put to bed and skill does beat size. But if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to like and subscribe and comment down any future challenges you would like to see. But as always, I'm The Coming Attraction, and thanks for stopping by.